squares and square roots estimating square root there are some situations when we need to find out the closest square root or guess what the square root could be in case it is a perfect square this is called estimating the square root suppose you have to find out the square root of 961 and you know that it's a perfect square what will you do 20 square is equal to 400 30 square is equal to 900 40 square is equal to 1600 so the square root must be between 30 and 40 now the last digit in the square is 1 so the square root has to have the digit 1 or 9 in the units place so the square root is 31 or 39 check where the number stands 961 is closer to 900 than 1600 so the square root must be 31 suppose you have to find out the square root of 2304 and you know that it's a perfect square what will you do 40 square is equal to 1600 50 square is equal to 2500 so the square root must be between 40 and 50 now the last digit in the square is 4 so the square root has to have the digit 2 or 8 in the units place so the square root is 42 or 48 check where the number stands 2304 is closer to 2500 than 1600 so the square root must be 48 you have 350 blocks and you have to arrange them in a square formation how can you do this but 350 is not a perfect square so I really can't do that okay make the biggest square that you can all right that is possible so now how will you do it you need to find the closest square number that is not bigger than 350 that will be the side of the square so you know that the square of 10 is 100 and the square of 20 is 400 so the number is between 10 and 20 350 is closer to 400 than 100 so let's check for numbers that are close to 20 what's the square of 19 361 we are close to 350 but we cannot have a square of side 19 as we do not have 361 blocks what's the square of 18 324 we are close to 350 and a bit lesser that is perfect so we have to make a square with side 18 you just estimated the closest square root let's find the least number which must be subtracted from 402 to be a perfect square so now how will you do it you need to find the closest square number that is not bigger than 402 so you know that the square of 20 is 400 402 is very close to 20 what's the square of 21 441 so we have to go to the perfect square 400 we have to subtract 2 from 402 to make it a perfect square a gardener has thousand plants he wants to plant these in such a way that the number of rows and columns remains the same find the maximum number of plants he can use to make this happen if the gardener wants the same number of rows and columns he is going for a square arrangement so you need to find the closest square number that is not bigger than thousand that will be the side of the square so you know that the square of 30 is 900 and the square of 40 is 1600 so the number is between 30 and 40 
thousand is closer to nine hundred than sixteen hundred. So let's check for numbers that are close to thirty. What's the square of thirty-three? One thousand and eighty-nine. We are close to thousand, but we cannot have a square of side thirty-three as we do not have one thousand eighty-nine plants. What's the square of thirty-two? One thousand twenty-four. No, we need to go lower. What's the square of thirty-one? Nine hundred and sixty-one. That's okay. So the gardener can use nine sixty-one plants and make the biggest square. Did you understand how to estimate square root? Yes. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.